Hello learners. Here we are, we are given that the ends of the hypotenuse are 0, 0,6 and 6,0. We have to find the equation of locus of its third vertex. Okay, fine. I'm going to take the third vertex as HK. Let P H comma K be the third vertex. B the third vertex. Okay, uh, I'll just make a brief diagram so that you know you'll have a nice understanding. So the ends of the hypotenuse are okay. Before that, I'm going to take let a is equal to zero comma six, and b is equal to six comma zero. Okay, so this is my a zero comma six. This is my b. 6 comma 0 and this is my p h comma k this is my 90 degrees so we know that in a right angle triangle you know hypotenuse square is sum of squares of uh, the two sides so basically uh, p a square would be equal to p b p uh, sorry uh, yeah p a square plus p b square uh, is equal to a b square fine so before, so basically I need P A and P B. Okay. I'm going to find out, find them out and keep them beforehand. Now I'm just going to give you a formula. This is not needed to be written in exam. See distance between any two points is nothing but under root X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. Fine. The first I need to find P A. So P A is nothing but under root of so for p a i'm going to take you know x h comma k as x2 y2 and a and b a a, a, a as uh, uh, x1 y1 okay so therefore i'd get under root x2 minus x1 h minus 0 whole square plus k minus 6 whole square h minus 0 whole square plus k minus 6 whole square so this is nothing but under root of h square plus k minus 6 whole square fine now next i'm going to find pb i'm going to find pb pb is nothing but for pb my h comma k will be x2 y2 and this 6 comma 0 will be x1 y1 so under root h minus 6 whole square h minus 6 whole square plus k minus 0 whole square, k minus 0 whole square. So this would be nothing but under root of h minus 6 whole square plus k square. Now, in triangle PAB, in triangle PAB, comma, PA square plus PB square is equal to a b square okay p a square plus p b square is a b square fine so p a square would be nothing but uh, this term without under root okay since it's like p a and p a square would be this one without under root so h square plus k minus 6 whole square h square plus k minus 6 whole square plus p b square would be uh, this term without the under root so this would be h minus 6 whole square h minus 6 whole square plus a square okay so this is nothing but a b square okay for a b square uh this would be nothing but 6 minus 0 whole square plus 0 minus 6 whole square 6 minus 0 whole square plus 0 minus 6 whole square fine so let me just expand on the left hand side i get h square plus a minus b whole square, it is a square plus b square minus 2ab. So I would get k square plus 6 square minus 2 into k into 6. It's always good to write steps, okay, that this would reduce uh, our uh, chances of going wrong. This would be h square plus 6 square minus 2 into h into 6 plus k square would be equal to 6 square plus minus 6 whole square. Okay. So now here, 
head square plus head square is two head square and k square plus k square is two k square and then if you'll observe here six square is there here here also six square is there so these two would get cancelled and here another six square is there minus six whole square is also 36 so that would also get cancelled so you know constants are gone and minus 2 into k into 6 is minus 12k but before that i want to write h first minus 12h minus 12h minus 12k is equal to 0 fine so from, from this entire equation i can take 2 common if i take 2 common i'd get h square plus k square minus 6h minus 6k is equal to 0 so send to 2 to the other side so it will be 0 by 2 which is nothing but 0 i'll get h square plus k square minus 6h minus 6k is equal to 0 now last one last step like replace replace h comma k with x comma y with x comma y so that you know because in general our equations are denoted it by x and y so let's just get our answer also in that so here i have in place of h just keep x and in place of k just keep y x square plus y square minus 6x minus 6y is equal to 0 that's it uh this is a like require this was a you know required equation and we are done uh please hit the like button if you like this video solution and if this is your first time coming across my channel please do subscribe to it thank you